Hi, Claire here from Wrangle, and today I'm going to walk you through how to manage your Wrangle workflows when you're an assignee. If you've been assigned to one or more workflow steps, you'll start seeing Wrangle requests show up in Slack, both in the channel where the workflow posts and in your unread threads. But channels can get noisy and you've probably got other threads to keep track of on top of your Wrangle threads. So I'm going to walk you through some other ways to keep track of everything in both our Slack app and our web app. So to start, I've got this channel where our Wrangle workflow posts, but there's a lot of conversation happening in this channel and we can barely see, uh, but we actually do have some recent workflow requests that have come in that need to be resolved. Of course, the more people post in this channel, the more these workflow requests disappear from site and it will start to get to the point where if you need to track them down uh, in the channel, you'll have to scroll and scroll and scroll to find them. And we don't want that. We want an easier way to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Wrangle app. Now, if you can find a recent Wrangle thread, you can just click on our icon here and it'll show up in your apps here on the side. Uh, if you don't have a Wrangle thread handy uh, that you can see, another way you can find us is to go to this app section and then add apps. And then if we're not already towards the top of your view, you can also search for us by name. So I'm going to go ahead and add Wrangle back into my apps over here on the left sidebar. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to star this to make sure that this stays in my Slack sidebar. So to do that, I'm going to go to this menu at the top of Slack, click on Wrangle, and I'm going to click on this star app icon. I'm going to move it to starred. And now what this does is this ensures that Wrangle is always pinned in my sidebar, no matter what, I will always have it available. Uh, since I am an assignee, I know I've got a lot of these uh, things to take care of. So I, I have a, uh, guaranteed spot to come back to to check the work that is assigned to me. So right off the bat, I am on the My Approvals and Tasks view. This is the default view to see uh, what has been assigned to you. If you see something different, you may be on our My Workflows view, which looks like this. Uh, if this is what you see, just go over to this menu over on the right and then flip it back to My Approvals and Tasks. Uh, so this is where you can see specifically task steps that have been assigned to you um, or ones that you've created. Uh, we can also look at approvals to do. So again, these are just approval steps that have been assigned to you and that are uh, still awaiting action. And then approvals you made. So if you uh, created a request with an approval, this is where that'll show up. If we go to more options, we've got some additional ways to filter down this view. Uh, the way I recommend doing this is by doing items I was assigned to where you haven't taken action yet that are still in progress and if you'd like, you can also narrow it down to a specific channel. So if there is a specific channel where a particular workflow posts that you want to focus on first, you can narrow it down to that channel. Um, or if you just want to see everything, then you can clear the selection and keep it open. In this case, I just want to see stuff that is in our training channel. So I will narrow that down. And here we've got um, some of those uh, requests that we saw in, in the channel from the other day. So I'm going to go ahead and click on one of these. And this is our thread where we've got our employee name, we've got their department, their intended start date, uh, some more information like who their manager is. And uh, here my, my job is to verify that we've made the offer. And in this case, I know this is done, so I'm going to approve it. And now we are good to start doing the rest. So onboarding this employee, we've got some tasks. We're going to add them to our SSO, Slack, and email systems, and then mail them out some company swag. So I'll say that I've gone ahead and done those things as well. So I can also just check this off from here. And now our requester has been notified that everything has been completed. So we're good to go. Didn't even have to uh, go back to the channel. I was able to do that all from here. Uh, let's say I want to do the same thing. I know we had um, some tasks to do for 
um, our other new employee, Heli. I'm still gonna do the same thing. I'm opening the thread from here and I'm just going to mark off that I have added them to SSO and I have also mailed out their swag. So this is my main recommendation for where to manage your work. This is an easy spot to see everything that is waiting on you directly in Slack. You don't have to go to another app. It's all in one place. But if you do prefer working from a different app, if you don't prefer working from Slack and would like to work from a different type of view, uh, we do also have our web app and that's what I'm gonna show you next. Um, so to get to our web app, you can just click on workflow dashboard here. I've already got this open in another tab. So I've got our workflow that we were just looking at with our uh, employee onboarding. Um, and I'm just gonna do a quick refresh here because we just completed two of those three instances. So now from here, another way that I can do my work is uh, directly from this dashboard where if I click on this instance from here, I can also take that action directly from the web. So I can come in here and we're verifying that offer. We're gonna go ahead and approve that. And then just like our other two instances, we also just need to mark off these tasks to confirm that we are done uh, with everything we need to do to onboard this new employee. So just like we did from Slack, uh, we had one centralized view here on the web where we could work through that request. So now I've just refreshed the page. I've got a couple other instances in here now. If this were a longer list and you wanted to narrow it down to just the work that is assigned to you, you can use this filter, this assignees filter over on the right and search for your name and filter this down to just you. So if you want a place on the web to work through your requests, this is the place to do it. There is a different dashboard for each of your workflows. So that's just something to be aware of. I'm going to go back to our workflows view here. And uh, here you can see we have a different workflow altogether and it's got its own distinct dashboard. So something to be aware of if you are going to use the web, you'll just need to go through these dashboards for each of your workflows. Um, otherwise, if you want it all in one place, that is what our Slack app is for. It'll show you uh, any open requests assigned to you, no matter the workflow. If you have any questions, you can check out our support page on the web. You can check out our help docs, our video library. Uh, you can live chat with us, schedule a support call, email us. We're happy to help. Just reach out if you have any questions.